So we can have something that looks like that. If you want to do some coloring, you also can. This part also, if we make it bold, it will look much better. Hello and welcome to Coast Engineering Professional. I am Ahmad Adel and here I help you develop the required skills and enhance your knowledge to elevate your coast engineering career. So if this is what you want, you know what to do actually. This channel is for you. And let's start. So I am here and I am having a blank Excel file. And let's see how can we make the comparison. So I'll just start with a serial number and item description. Then unit quantity rate and amount and before I start let us just select everything here and we can make everything center and right click here and go to format cells and I want all the cells to be numbers so now let's start writing our items Let's assume that this is an enabling work package. So I have here showing and let's assume, for example, this is second files. And we have some tiebacks. And also we have the excavation. And let's say leveling and compaction. And we have the dewatering. The watering, I'll have two things. I'll have, let's say, first thing is mop and demop. So mobilization and demobilization or removal of the system. And I have the dewatering, let's say I have the running because I'll need to install this system and then run it for a few days or a few months. So I have the dewatering mobilization and we have the running also. And these will be our items here. So I'll just make them start from the left like that. Say one, two, three, four, five, six. And these are the six items that we have here for this comparison. And I can just select all of them like that and click Control plus to add rows as you see between them. And I can select this column and I'll just decrease the decimals. So just one, two, three up to six. And now let's assume that I have quotations from different vendors and I want to compare these quotations. So how to do that? Let's go back to the screen here. And as you can see, quantity rate amount, this quantity rate amount will be from the first vendor. So let's put the unit of measurement first. So let's say, for example, the shoring will be in linear meter. The tiebacks will be in numbers. The excavation will be in cubic meter. The leveling and compaction will be in square meter and this will be like an item and this will be in days the running or the quantity of running the dewatering system will be in days and from the first one let's say here okay let's just make this meter square i'll just select it then right click format cells superscript so to have it look like that and here same superscript okay so that's it now let's assume that we have 190 linear meters of shoring and 127 tie bags and 20,000 cubic meters of excavation and let's say 2,200 square meters of leveling and compaction. The dewatering mob and demob will be one because it's an item and let's assume I'll run the dewatering system for 90 days. Now let's have the rates here that we got from the first vendor or first company, let's say here 11,500 and let's assume here 2000 and here maybe 20, then 10 for the leveling and compaction, then maybe 15,000 for installation and the installation of the system and maybe here for the running 1,100 per day. So let's get an amount now, I'll say equal to quantity multiplied by rate. And I'll just copy this formula and paste it here. And let's have a total here. So this is the total for this vendor. 
the total will be this submission let's take up to here no problem so 2.9 million let's just do some quick formatting here so i'll just mark that all borders and then i'll mark here and i'll go for vertical ones and down and then for the total i'll just select it and all borders so i have something that looks like that now let's add few rows here and I'll tell you why now so let's say that this is vendor number one so here let's merge these cells and let's write company name or vendor one or whatever so vendor one then here we can put the contact person and his mobile number like John or whatever name then the number after that, let's have here the quotation reference because any quotation from a vendor will have a reference. So this is the reference number. And here I can have the quotation date. Quotation date. And actually for this one, let's right click, format cells, and go here and change it to date. And choose this format, 14 March 12, for example, something like that. So for example, if I say 19 May 2022, and I'll just select all of this and I'll make it all border. And now I have here, I can go and merge all of that. But actually here I can put like, I can say vendor here. And here I can say contact. And here I can say reference. And here I can say date. Because once you fill this information, you will have here only the information so you need to know these information are for what so we can add this part here and for the description we can make all these cells together and for the serial number we can do the same and then just select them and do more borders so i have something that looks like that now if i copy vendor one and i paste here i can have here vendor two and if i copy this so I can paste here and here and here, for example. So I have five vendors. I'll just change the numbers or the company name. Three, four, five. And of course, from the quotations, from each of these ones, I'll just update the price. So let's assume that I have 12,000 here. And let's say 1,750 here. And let's say the excavation is 25. Leveling and compaction 15. And let's assume this one 12 and here I have 1,500. It's a different quotation. And here also, let's say, for example, 10,000. And here, tiebacks, let's say 2,500. Excavation, let's say 18. And then here, maybe something like 16. And then, or let's make it 12. And then here, let's say 12 also, 12,000. And here, let's say 1,200. So each vendor is just giving his price or his rate. Let's go for this one and let's assume that he has given us here 12,500 and here let's say 1,650 and then excavation let's assume 18 or we used 18 already so let's go for 17. Leveling and compaction let's say 12 and let's see here not 12 we used it so let's go for 11,000 and let's say 1350 so this is another vendor that we have here and vendor number five let's just delete it I, let's keep it only four vendors for now to make it simple so for each vendor i have quantity rate amount and i can see something that looks like this now i'll just zoom in a little bit to show you what else we can have here so first thing i'll just make this bold and also this information we can have them bold including the quantity rate amount for each of them and similarly this information and actually inside here if, if you select them like this one by one and you go to more borders you can make the inner one as a line that is dotted so it looks like that much better and we can have here also if you go again to more border I'll go dotted for the horizontal line so it can look like that and here I want to write some information related to this project 
so for example I can have here something like your company name maybe company name and then we can have let's say procurement department or contracts department depending on who is doing this comparison here you can have something like prepared by in that case it will be Ahmed Adel for example and that's fine no need for more so I have these things let's add one row up and make them start from the left like that and then I can go and merge these cells here something like this and I can say for example quotation or price comparison sheet for enabling works and I can put here the project name and actually the, the row that I deleted just now you can have the project name here also so I am doing a comparison for this particular project and this line I don't want it so I'll just go to more borders and remove it like that and you can remove the merge and merge it again you can make this bold and underline and you can increase the font here so if I just go and make external borders from outside like that okay so it looks like this then here I can make a border on the left side and I can merge why because I can use this for putting the logo of the company so you can put a logo here you can insert a logo and put it in this area but it is very big something like that can be okay so you can put the logo of your company here here you can write this and we will have something like that okay then and down here I can have for example let's say uh, duration or delivery time or something like and also other than the duration we have the uh, terms of payment so I'll put here terms of payment and we can also have let's say past history or like for each of these vendors what was our past history did we deal with him before good experience bad experience and so on and we can copy the same formatting actually so I can copy this line and I'll paste the formatting here like that and let's merge this and copy it and paste it here and here so I have three merged cells here let's copy them and do this here and here and here as well so let's say for example the duration here or the duration offered by this vendor is 90 days and here also let's say 90 days or 100 let's make them just different and this one is offering let's say 100 days as well and the last one is offering 90 days also and the terms of payment let's say here 30 days BDC for example and let's say here 60 days let's say here 45 days and here also let's say 30 and let's assume that all of them are asking for an advance payment so I can just write here let's say 10% advance payment something like that I'll copy it and here also let's just bring this down and let's here say this one is asking for 15% advance and maybe here let's say 20 this one is asking for 10 or 15 doesn't matter so you can keep them centered like that or if you want you can make them start from the left up to you it's just okay leave them like this and then here for the past history let's say good performance or performance let's say here normal or poor or whatever 
let's keep them all good performance so we are not looking into this because all of them performed well in the past let's have this center so we can have something that looks like that if you want to do some coloring you also can this part also if we make it bold it will look much better and now let's go to let's click uh, control p or press control p to see how it looks so let's from here from the paper let's use for example a4 and for the margins let's go for narrow for the scaling let's go for fit all columns in one page and for the portrait orientation let's have it landscape so it looks like that when you print it will look something like that if you wanted to take the full uh, paper let's say then I'll escape this and here you can see here page breakdown preview if I click that you see so I can just bring this to the left a little bit and decrease this one and I can bring this down and let's reduce the size here a little bit now I'm just trying to make it more beautiful looking and let's say here currency for example you can put it here and you can say here total amount just now in, now doing the final touches for this so if I want to make it give it more height what I can do I can mark these rows here and increase one of them a little bit so all of them will be increased like that so if we print now you see it increased also we can increase the duration a little bit in terms of payment past history I just want it to fill the paper so it can look nice of course you can put here people who will be signing on this comparison sheet or something like so you can have here like prepared by checked by approved by final approval by and people can sign on this paper and based on that you can award or make a contract or something like that so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and i appreciate your valuable time if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and give me a comment in the comment section down below and see you in the next video bye bye